hi friends welcome back or welcome if you're new today i have a bunch of stuff i want to get done um my boys are out of the house so i have um time to myself and so i want to get multiple things done at the same time and i just thought i'd film since i don't always get to film anymore so let's go ahead and get started um let me just preview i have a passport tn i got a new planner in here so i'll be showing how i'll be, I'll be using that i have a new pen that i bought secondhand and I'm so excited to ink it up. So I have an ink sample here and I'm going to show you guys how I fill these up so that it's less messy. And then I have my weeks here. This is this week. I didn't have time to set up after we got back from our trip. So um, I want to go ahead and take the time to set up next week. Um, so I'm going to try to get all of this done. Um, so you can just skip ahead to whatever you want to see first. So first I'm going to ink this up so that it has time to be ready for when I want to write stuff down. I want to use this ink. This ink is um, an ink sample that I bought from Yoseka and it is the Sailor Ink Studio 150. It's a really light purple and um, with the stickers that I want to use in my planner next week, I think it'll be a really um, nice little combo. So this here is a converter and um, <clears throat> it just um, like pops in there and then comes right out so that's what i do i don't always especially because right now i mostly have ink samples so i can't always like you know stick everything in there and um pull up the ink that in that way so i just always just take out the cartridge and i'm just using a shop towel here to protect my mat and my hands are so dry i just noticed all right so let's take that off and this um oh man it is kind of tricky, but it's not that bad. Okay, there we go. Then I'm just going to take some in here. It doesn't take that much to to um, fill this up. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this up. Most of the way, as you can see. Then I put the rest back. <gasps> so cute. Okay. Close this. There we go. Put my pen back together. Isn't this pen so beautiful? Oh, I love it so much. I love it so much. I think um, I bought it from Robin over at Talks From The Heart, and I think she said this is from Maverick Pens. And I've been eyeing their pens. I just never see anything that I like, and this one I really, really liked, so I'm excited for that. So I'm going to let that sit there. Alrighty. So then I'm going to try to close this very carefully. Put this back. Close this, and I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> I rarely ink things up here um, on my desk. I typically do it um, in my bathroom sink. So that's done, that's done. I'm just gonna set this stuff off to the side so that I don't get ink. You know what, let me go flush this out. I don't want it to get all gross. Alrighty, so there's that. And let's go ahead and show you my TN, and then we'll get to planning in here. So this is not a new cover. I've had this cover for probably a year now and I um, haven't used it at all. So here it is all set up. I got in a little charm on Amazon. It's just a little Harry Potter thing. It's the first thing that I saw that I liked so I grabbed it. I'm thinking about kind of taking this apart to take this larger piece off and then just putting a different jump ring on there so that this isn't... Um, I don't know. I just feel like that's kind of the main focus of the charm when I have it closed up here. It's just kind of huge, right? So I want this to be the main focus. So I don't know. I'll figure that out later. Not a priority. So I just have my Ollie clip here. Love it. Just for looks. I love that. Um, have apparently have $10 in there. Okay, so I have this. This is new. I got this from Sterling Inc. It is the horizontal for full year in her passport size. All of her planners right now are 25% off. So I got this book for about 20 bucks. Um so that, to me, was a really good deal to try something new because I really am wanting to get into my passport size here. So I have this clip here that my friend Anita, she made it and she sent it to me. I'm so grateful. Um, I was going to be using this as like my everyday carry. So I put up a poll in on my Instagram um, and I didn't know whether to make this my everyday carry or just make it a health vlog. Um and i tried doing it as an everyday carry and i thought it would work i thought it'd be fine i put in all of my stuff all of my future planning stuff in here um but 
I went in and I added like stuff from this this week into last week so ignore the dates on here this is actually for the current week um because I wanted to test it out so I thought that I would divide it in half and do my plans on the left side here and then do my health log on the right side of the page because I don't really need that much space for plans I don't really have a lot of plans um, so I did that and I was like, okay, I can make this work. And then if you see here, I have my sections like to buy meals, what I'm waiting on, my to do section and what I'm listening to that obviously is not going to all fit down here. So what I thought I would do is, um, set up a notes page in the back for the current week. So I have it just divided to do to buy what I'm waiting on here. And then what I'm listening to would be down here. And then I could even keep this as like random notes or I can make these sections bigger and use two pages per week. So all of that was going through my mind and I was like, okay, I can make this work as my everyday carry. It's cute. I like it. Um, the issue I had though was that something I, I couldn't make something fit in here and that's my health log. So if I flip to the back, let me not show you my actual ones that are filled out. So if I flip to the back of my weeks, I have my health log set up like this and I did not know how I could, and I wanted it one month like this so I could see the whole month at a glance. And um, I just didn't think that I would have enough space here because if I flip over to the monthlies over here, this basically gives me an idea as to how big the squares will be if I draw my own months back here. And I just don't think that's enough space. Um, it's plenty of space if we're not getting sick, but life with a toddler, like somebody is always sick and I just don't know if I were to draw it out. I probably could, <laughs> but I didn't want to think about it anymore. <laughs> So I decided to not to make this my everyday carry for that purpose because I want my health flags in here still just in case, just in case. I'd rather have those than not. Um, I might look into the future seeing if I could draw um, a calendar in here and have it be a little bit bigger than these squares are, but we'll see. So that's a possibility, but for right now, what I'm going to do actually is use this as both my health log and like a reading journal like not journal but like a reading log so i want to keep track of my meals like lunch snacks and dinner not breakfast because my husband makes us breakfast and it's always the same thing so i always know what <laughs> we have for breakfast but i want to keep track of lunches and dinners and then snacks like i'm gonna write down every snack like junk food type snack that i eat um, we're, we've been eating lots of fruits and vegetables and my hands are so dry. Hang on. Okay. So I've been eating lots of fruits and vegetables. So I don't know if I always want to write down like all of the healthy snacks or if I just want to write down when I'm having something that's not healthy, like hot Cheetos. <laughs> that's my weakness. Um, so we'll see exactly what I want to keep track of here. I'm not quite sure yet. I've been going on walks. Maybe I'll also write down like what I did that day, like how long I was out for a walk. Um, you guys, I am not, I, I am, let's see, I'm very, like, inactive. I, I, we don't, we're, we're lazy. We're lazy people who just stay at home and sit and watch TV and eat. Like, that's my lifestyle, like, just to be completely honest. So, I have been going out for a walk every day, uh, for the past three days, and I already have a plan as to when I'm going today. So, even if it's just a walk, like, for me, that's a big deal. Um, so, I'm, I'll write that down. And then later as I progress and start um, having more time and capability to do more, maybe I'll write down those things that I'm doing. But for now, I think that that's what I want to do. Um, and then I don't know how I'll use this space down here. Maybe as a little like weekly wrap up, like how did I do this week um, and how I can do better. Or maybe like a goal that I want to accomplish this week or or something that I want to make a priority that week or something like that and then maybe reflect on it down here. I don't know. I won't, I won't put my... <clears throat> excuse me. I won't put any pressure down here, but I do want to be more intentional about trying to get healthy. Um, I am getting up there in the years and my hubby and I want to um, have the option of having more babies. So I need to take care of my body for that purpose as well. So I want to make changes and and I don't feel like I need all of this space for health stuff and I wanted to use a weekly insert 
for book logs anyway um so this will just give me like half of the space but i mean i i don't need to restrict myself to just this so maybe i should do my health log on the left and then use this side for my the books i mainly do audiobooks so maybe that's what i'll do um <laughs> i'm scared to commit so let's see the most recent audiobook that i listened to was the britney spears book and that was depressing so maybe for some books i will only use one space and then for other ones i can use two spaces so it's not like that big and i don't need to get in depth in books anyway i just need to remember like have i read this or not um so there's that i think that that's how i'm going to be using this one um but now that i'm using that as um now that I'm using it like that, that I don't know how I'll be using my notes pages back here. Um, maybe if I find different workouts or something, I want to try different channels or videos with um, easy workout ideas or um, meal ideas or maybe like books that come to like um, that are brought to my attention that I might want to read or whatever. Maybe I can put those um, back here too. just split my notes in half and then just do it like that or work you know, back to front on one subject and then front to back with the other topic. Um, so that's an option. The th so I wanted to have a separate insert in here for different things, but with this little booklet, and mine, like I said, is the compact version. So I, my notes pages, I think have like 120 something. Um, yeah, like 121, I think. I have 121 pages back here. And even with this, and then I have obviously this little insert, that is more than enough for this um, TN cover. If I put anything else in here, I have to fiddle with it to get it to close so nothing is like popping out on the edge here. Um, so yeah, this is perfect. Um, <laughs> but now I'm like, oh my gosh, I want all the TNs in the world. So I've been watching like all of the, t the TN videos and I feel like I want more, but um, I'm gonna just get started with this. But this is what I have. So I'll get started with this and see how I like it. Um, and I don't know, like, I love my weeks, but it might be fun to try a different size next year. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so that's that. All right. So let's get into my weeks. I love my weeks. I love my weeks so much, but it is starting to get a little fluffy for this cover. Like I don't, I don't want to switch out mid year. Like I did last year. I want to stay in here. So when I set up my weeks and then this week, like I said, was pen only, um, which I don't hate, you know, with a fun uh, fountain pen and a cool color. Like, I don't hate this as much as I really disliked my pen only spread in my vertical B6. I don't, I don't hate this. Like, it's fine. It's fine by me. Um, I'm going to be using this collection from Gafacito Designs. It is so cute. It's called So Coquette. And I have my week's here and then this is the deco so let's open up the deco oh and i have the washi as well so i'll show you that this is part of her subscription box um i am an affiliate with her so or uh, i'm on her pr team oh gosh this is so cute so this is the only subscription box that i receive um, because i have a plenty of stickers and stuff that i need to get through so um, I limit myself to this box. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I love her dress. It's so cute. Oh my word. Oh no. This is so cute. I wish I was this cute, like, you know, in my personal style, but I'm just not. <laughs> I'm very casual. <laughs> this is so adorable. Look at those bows. Oh, both styles are so cute. Okay. So let's. That's the deco. And then. This is the Hobonichi Wigs. Oh my gosh. I want all... I want to use all of this like in the... But it would make my planner so chunky if I went in. Oh my gosh, no. This is like probably one of my top favorites from her boxes. These colors are beautiful. They're pastel, but they're kind of like dusty. Um, so cute. I like it. And muted. Oh, I love it so much. It's so cute. It's so different. So different um, than what I have. Okay, so hmm. Okay, I have things going on next week. I have 
things going on. Oh, this is perfect because next week is Mother's Day. And so this will be a cute little kit to use with Mother's Day. So I am not going to feel bad about using all of this stuff. What color do we want? The green? The This yellowy kind of matches the paper. I wonder how that would look. I kind of want the green though. Hmm. 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 I'm going to go with the green because that's what caught my attention first. Okay, friends, I just decided to speed up this part and skip some of it so that you wouldn't have to sit me, um, sit here and watch me uh, be indecisive as to where these stickers should go. But I really like how this turned out. I think it looks really cute. Alrighty, so let's see. Ooh, I love this pen. It's a fine nib, but it's so juicy. I love it. Alrighty, so I need to be very careful with what I'm doing here because I need to let that dry. I think that's right. And if you're curious, this is um, 673 in my combo. Alright, so let me just write in my plans now. I hope this is dry. Yeah, it's dry. Okay. So then. That's it. <laughs> That's my plans. Alrighty. Um, to buy. Meals. Waiting on. These are just orders that I have. Um, that I've that I've placed and I'm waiting for them to ship, or um, they've shipped and I'm just waiting to receive them. And to do. listening to is down here. And I like to follow like trials online and I also like to listen to audiobooks so that's what that space is for. Gives me plenty of space to do those things and record those things. I love it. Oh my gosh this ink is so beautiful. It has like a kind of a pink sheen to it too. Oh so cute. Alrighty, so that is my weeks for the next week. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's so simple and cute. Should I add more deco to it? I think so. Me thinks I will. Let me add one of these little cups. Right here. And then... I really like this cup and a flower. Flower in a cup. There we go. I'm gonna add that. And just right here. So cute. I think that's it. This set also came, not that one, it came with uh, three washi tapes. You're so cute. Okay. I feel like I need something right here. To this bow right here so cute alrighty friends that is my weeks for our next week oh my gosh and look it looks so cute with my pen I love it alright so let me just explain my little setup to you in case you are new here um, on this side of the line here I have like the actual like day specific time specific plans in here I'll just write like notes about the day or whatever a lot of the times that goes blank as you can see well this trip that was our trip and it just got crazy sometimes i just fill it in i got two new inks in that day um sometimes it just stays blank so you know that's how i use that um this section here i have two sections the top one will be like what i had for lunch and then the bottom is what i had for dinner <gasps> now that i'm doing that in my passport do i need to do it here Ooh, maybe not i don't know we'll see i'm gonna do it in both this week and see um, what I think and then we'll regroup and decide at a later time. So I have that over here. I have my to buy section. I go to the grocery store once a week. We go out once a week. <laughs> so anything that we need to buy, I put it in here. That way when we're, um, when I go to make my list, I have something to reference. Um, my meals, like our meal plan, that's what that is. 
Um, so yeah, this is the meal plan. This is like what actually happened. Waiting on, I already explained that. To do, self-explanatory. Listening to, I already explained that. And then my tracking down here is my health log. I have my health log in the back in the notes over here. So I just, I, I, as important as it, as it is to me, I forget to fill it out. So I have a tracker here to remind me to fill out my health log. Um, veggies, I want to see how often I'm getting veggies, uh, fruits, how many days I'm going without eating junk food. Again, hot Cheetos is my weakness. And then how many days I'm getting out and moving. So that's what I'm tracking uh, this upcoming week. Let me know. Have you switched up your planners? Have you switched up your layouts? Um, I'm not one that really enjoys planner hopping. I'd rather just abandon my whole, <laughs> my whole thing than be like planner hopping. That's just me. Um, I, it's just, it's too chaotic for me. It's too chaotic for my brain to be moving around to different things. But I don't mind like switching up my my layout and the things that I'm tracking or, or keeping track, like listing or whatever, um, recording. That's fine by me, but I don't know. This 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 is an experiment, so I hope it sticks but my everyday carry needs to stay here i really like this with that being said friends thank you for being here for spending time with me and i will talk to you guys next time bye